Okay, hello everybody. This is Talking with Johnny5. This is a new segment I'm doing where I talk about uh, topics that I want to talk about to you guys. So today's topic is uh, buying land and living off grid. I've been seeing a lot of videos on this on how to live smartly and cheaply and of course off grid and have buying your own land. So there's a couple ways you can, you can do it. <clears throat> there's stuff online, websites you can buy land for good price. And how many acres or what's on the land. And <clears throat> and like for all the utilities, water and uh, restrictions, a lot of stuff. So <clears throat> so best way to go off grid for buying land is find an energy source. There's a couple of them you could use. If you want to pay electricity you could either use power lines electricity or you can use solar solar panels which is pretty good cheaply and all you use is the sun. Yeah, only problem with that is you have direct sunlight. You got trees nearby this you have laying down or have like a rotator that I've seen before. Another one you can use is like a wind turbine is powered by wind and those are pretty efficient <clears throat> there's all different kinds of those ranges very um cheap to costly or expensive <clears throat> and there's that and you have a water mill if you have a creek on your property or a waterfall you can use that to power your electricity power your stuff another thing is what you'd be living in and you need a place to live, like a shelter, or um, a tiny home, or an RV, or a house, affordable house, or a log cabin. Oh, it's many kits for those I've seen. What I would do, I would probably buy a couple of tiny houses, cheapest ones I can find, stack it together, make, it make my own house. That would be affordable. I have like the basic stuff you need, like. Uh, electricity, which I just talked about, or like <clears throat> windows, doors, uh, furniture. You can design it how you want. Like have a loft on, on top, different kind of designs, and you can have like other tiny houses you can build for like you have your own greenhouse, your own garden. Yeah, be green, be efficient. Have a cost um, a toilet, like composting toilet. There's a lot of ways you can do it. <clears throat> in the sites I use, I go on Google and type in land for sale, and there's like a whole bunch of them. I can't name them right now because it's been a while. But they all different prices and different types of land. And nothing for buying land, nothing off grid is where to where to live close to your work if there's work nearby you need like like internet or a phone line if you need you might not need a phone line since cell phones are, might work there or a carrier to use that works where you live in any close towns nearby so you have a place to work nothing too far in the middle of nowhere we could do that if you want or you can, if there's like a lake on your land, you can have a houseboat. That's another way you can live. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of videos on those too, which is pretty nice. Some of them are. And, uh, <clears throat> you do that. Or, another thing, not many topics you need water. How are you going to get water? To There's no like line to your water. You can dig for a well. Or have a, a uh, rain catch or rain collector, which is pretty neat. So yeah, that's the current topic for this video: buying land and living off grid. So, if you have any advice you want to tell me or talk about? Put it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer it. And that's my couple reasons on why I like to live, want to try to live off grid by land, because that. In this economy, that's the best thing to do. I mean, since everything, every, buying a house and having a mortgage every month, and if you lose that, 
lose your job and you be kicked out of your house. When you're buying land, it'd be your land. Not really your land, but you own it, but you'll be you won't be homeless. That's the whole point. And it'll be affordable for buying land. So thank you for watching. This is Talks with Johnny Five. And have a great day.